Welcome to another Stamps the Mail Club video tutorial for November of 2013. If you haven't already ordered your Stamps the Mail Club kit, please get on that. Um, I'd be happy to get one in the mail to you soon. Um, even if November's over, check with me. I might have some kits left over. Um, it never hurts to check. So black cardstock is going to be the background of our card, and we are making a faux Polaroid, which is all the rage right now. So I'm going to start with my um, Big Dahlia from the Regarding Dahlia stamp set. And I like to ink my big stamps upside down, so I'm going to use my stays on ink pad and go ahead and stamp this sort of down here to the corner. Um, stamps in the Mail Club includes clear mount stamps, so you'll be getting a clear mount set unless you want to upgrade to wood mount, um, but you'll be able to see where you're putting your stamp more easily that way. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put adhesive here, but not here, so that what I'm doing is sort of angling this to decide where I want my Polaroid frame to go artfully and then go ahead and put my dahlia down in the center of it. Always smush on the back side. You don't want to smear your ink even though stays on dries really quickly. And then on my Polaroid frame I'm going to grab my thank you stamp. I love this font. And go ahead and stamp this on the bottom right of my Polaroid in black stays on ink also. and Cover that up. Alcohol based pads tend to dry out quickly if they're exposed to the air. And then Stampin' Dimensionals, woohoo for these babies. Um, I am going to trim the edge pieces. Don't throw these away, please. They're wonderful to use for things like popping up the edges of your uh, faux Polaroid frames. Oops, that one came apart. Okay, so I'm going to just stick these down here. There's a couple there. Peel my backings off. Actually, I have a big pile of those um, Stampin' Dimensional backings because uh, people don't generally like to use them in classes, so I just kind of hoard them to save for things just like this. So you can see my dimensionals there. I'm going to go ahead and place that right over my card. Okay, so we have our Polaroid frame. I think my sample for this one was actually square, so you can see the difference. This one's just got a, a jaunty angle to it. I have a little piece of red glimmer paper that's included in the Stamps and Mail Club kit. And I'm going to put some snail adhesive on the back of that and add this flag here to the top of my card. And this one I put it on the bottom. Now we are missing a very important part of this card still. It's the All That Glitters month for Stamps and Mail. So we're going to use crystal effects for this. And let me go ahead and zoom in. Um, you a couple of points about crystal effects. You don't want to shake your crystal effects. It will get bubbles introduced into the liquid glass, uh, liquid glass or liquid glaze, and then those bubbles will come out on your projects. So instead, you want to just be patient with it. And uh, if you're getting towards the end of your crystal effects, you can go ahead and set it upside down in like a cup so that the crystal effects just falls down towards the tip. And then what you want to do is just squeeze a little bit and the crystal effects will start pouring out. And I squeeze just a little and then use my tip to move the crystal effects around because you um, want to avoid getting big pools on there. Crystal effects can take up to 24 hours to dry depending on how thick you've got it on there, um, how much glam you really need. And the... Um, surface will stay nice and shiny unless you constantly test it by putting your fingers in it to say, hey, is it dry yet? So testing it to see if it's dry is a sure way to get a fingerprint across the top of your crystal effects. I'd recommend not testing it. You'll have to uh, restrain yourself, believe me. I know it's hard. Um, give it an hour or at least half an hour before you stick your finger in it to see. And then definitely 24 hours before sticking your card in an envelope. Okay. So there you can see the gorgeous dimensional glaze, but we're not done yet. We, of course, need some um, glitter. So I'm going to, I don't want to pour it on because it'll cover the whole surface and it'll um, create sort of an opaque glitter effect. But I'm going to take some Dazzling Diamonds here and sprinkle it over the top and then just shake the extra back into my powder tray. And now you can see we have some extra glam to our um, card. And so there is our next card for Stamps the Mail Club. Like I said, if you haven't signed up for Stamps the Mail Club yet, um, go ahead and drop me a note. I still have some kits available, and I would love to um, stamp with you by mail this month. Thanks so much.